Welcome, my name is Ella and this, in this video we will discuss how you can configure items uh, sir or services in your Loiverse account, how to make sales and how to view the sales report. From Loiverse back office you can add items in your Loiverse account. First of all, if you want uh, to organize better your items, it is good to add categories. So you can add category, like just writing the category name and uh, uh, choosing a color for your category and clicking on the button save. After that, you can go in the item list and start adding your items. Even though it is called like an item, in this list you can also add services if you are a service business and you will offer a service for your customer. Uh, for example, if you are like a museum and you want to uh, sell tickets to your customers, uh, so your item can be a ticket. So maybe your ticket has uh, uh, like a fixed price, so you can write the price. Uh, I assume there will be no cost. Uh, the system will generate an SKU that it will use to identify this, uh, this uh, product and also to uh, generate all the reports related with the sales. Uh, if you have, maybe you have uh, limited uh, tickets during the day, so you can, if you want, you can activate the track stock button and you can uh, add stock for your item. Uh, if you have multiple uh, branches, you can add stock for each of these uh, branches and also it is possible to get low stock notifications if you want to get notified when your tickets, um, like you have many, uh, you have a little number of tickets left, so you can uh, activate this low stock to get notified when your tickets are running low. Uh, so the tax uh, is already activated because it has already been configured in the Loiverse account and you can choose how you want to represent this item in the POS screen. You can choose a color or a shape or you can also add an image and click on the button save. So this is one of the simplest item in Loiverse and if we go to make a sale in the point of sale screen, so you can search for products uh, by writing their name. For example, if we will search now the ticket, it will be added to the uh, ticket uh, with uh, uh, the quantity and the price and you can charge your customer. You can also choose between the payment type the customer will use and finish the sale. You can send, if it is needed, you can send the receipt by mail to your customer or you can uh, print if you have connected a physical printer and by clicking on the new sale you are back to the main sales screen. So this is the simplest item in Loiverse. Uh, in Loiverse, you can also create uh, um, items with variants or services with variants. For example, let's say that you are a car wash and you offer uh, car washes, but it depends uh, the price of this uh, car wash depends on the size of the car that the customer has. So instead of creating different type of items, you can create one single item, car wash, and you can create variants for it where you indicate as an option name the uh, size of the car and you uh, write the options that um, you have. For example, let's say um, regular size, you can have uh, SUVs or vans, for example. And, uh, you have different price, as I mentioned, for each of these options. So. Once you click on the button save, the system generates variants for you and these variants for the system are unique uh, services because um, they have their own SKU that the system will use to identify them and you can put different price that, uh, for example, let's say like this and also if you need to, act to track the stock of the ingredient of the components of the products that you use so to do the car wash you can also add the cost uh, of like here so that the system can calculate the correct profit for you and then the rest of the configuration is the same as in the simple item so you can decide in which store if you have multiple stores you can decide in which store this uh, service will be available for sale let's say ohana each of the variants because it is considered a unique item so you need to activate for each of them uh, this availability for sale and and also the price it will be inherited from the uh, price that you indicate up here but uh, I just know to mention that the uh, a service can have different prices in different stores so even if the regular size car you charge $23 in Ohana store you can charge uh, in, in the other branch that you might have you might charge more 
so uh, services and products can have different prices in different stores and uh, the rest of the configuration is the same so the items with variant in the point of sale system will appear like this so if i will search for this car wash um, so if the if this uh, item that i have added has variants so the system will show me the variants available with their um, according price and i can select the uh, the variant that i want to add to the ticket i can also add comments for example if uh, i need to make some notes for the employee who will uh, do the service or something like that uh, and also i can apply discounts if i want let's apply a discount down to this uh, and uh, we can charge choose a payment type let's choose card and again you can send a receipt either by mail or you can uh, print a physical receipt if you connect a receipt printer uh, now another type of item that lovers has is items uh, are composite items composite item are items that are composed of other items that you have in your uh, in your uh, um, item list so for example let's say that you are a hair salon and you will offer this hair wash for your customers but you will use shampoo conditioner or even a mask so you want to track stock of all these components that you use because you want to get notification when your items will be uh, low in stock so you can purchase new items so this is also possible for example let's say if you will use this um, in a, these components for example shampoo you can add it as an item in your uh, in your uh, item list uh, so you will sell it by each you can put the cost uh, maybe the price not because you will not sell to the to the customer directly this shampoo and you can activate this track stock button you can uh, activate how many of these shampoos you have in stock let's say that you will sell it by weight and volume because we will use it uh, by milliliters and also you can indicate low stock so you can get low stock notifications for your item now because the shampoo will not be sold directly to the customers it is good that this item will not, does not appear in the sales screen for this reason you can uh, disable this availability for sale for this item and you click on the button save in the same way you can add other uh, uh, products that you want to use for example conditioner in the same way you can choose to sell by weight or volume you can indicate uh, the price uh, we can activate the track stock button we can put the stock for uh, each store and also low stock if it's needed to receive this low stock notifications and save and now uh, we can create our service hair wash as a composite item and uh, by after adding the name of the service and indicating a category uh, of course it will be sold by each and before adding the price what we'll do we'll first uh, configure the item as a composite item so we'll activate this toggle here and here I can choose the components that I will use to make this service for example shampoo let's say that we will use five milliliters so I will write here like this and also conditioner same way five milliliters now how it works so you see that there is a cost that appears here that the system calculates uh, by multiplying the quantity of the component with the cost of the ingredient and this cost will be uh, summed together to give you the total cost of this service and then you can put the price that you will charge to your customer for this service uh, now how it works is that every time that we will sell this composite item to the customer the stock of the components shampoo and conditioner will be deducted according to the quantity indicated here so we can save so these are the three types of items that can be created in loivers uh, if we will see this last item that we added in the in the sales screen it will not show the the components it will show only the name of the composite item and then the system will uh, deduct the stock of the components accordingly so if we see for example conditioner it will be deducted after the sale uh, 
Now the items can be added one by one in the back office but or you can add them in bulk because the lovers has uh, the feature to import items you can create a uh, the item uh, the um, with uh, the file with the it your items information based on the template file that lovers has provided in the back office which you can download and open in excel and then import all the items immediately to the uh, to the back office uh, items also you can uh, you can add from the pos application in the pos menu you have the menu of items where you can add items categories and the discount and from here you can add only simple items meaning not items with variants or composite item but just simple items where you can indicate the name decide how you will sell uh, and also uh, put the price and the cost for this service uh, and uh, you can uh, choose if you want to track stock or not apply modifiers activate the tax our tax is already activated based on the default um, uh, settings or like of the tax when you have configured your tax and also you can choose the color that you want to, to use to represent the service in the sales screen or you can choose either images as well now based on all the sales that you will issue in the pos application you will see the report in the back office like you will see the sales summary report that gives a general summary of all the sales that you have done and you can see the total gross sales refund discount net sales and gross profit that you have uh, done during this period of time you can uh, select the period of time that you want to to see like today yesterday this week last week these are some predefined periods or you can use uh, the calendar to choose any uh, day or week or period that you want to check also you can see all day or a specific uh, period of time during the day and if you have multiple stores you can filter uh, by store and also if you have added employees in your account you can also filter by employees uh, the report will show you uh, the figures for the selected period but also a comparison of this period with previous periods to indicate if you had uh, increase in the gross sales or decrease and also in the other figures as well. There will, you'll be able to see the graph representation of your sales and then uh, in the uh, second part there is a breakdown uh, by hour uh, and you will be able to see the same figures like gross sales we found discounted sales uh, and profit for each hour of the uh, each hour of the day the report can be exported and you can open it in excel or google sheets based on your needs but in addition to this main report that lawyers has you can also check the sales of each item individually in the sales by item report uh, where you will be able to identify very easily the top five sold items based on their net sales and also you will be able to see the graph representation of the sales of these five uh, items which uh, you can change how you want to see the graph with, like, as a bar, as a line or maybe pie and also you can see how you want to see the breakdown by hours, days or weeks based on the period of time that you have selected here in the filter uh, and uh, this uh, so here is the top 5 sold items but of course the sales of all items will be displayed in the report uh, and this report can also be exported and you can open it in Excel, Google Sheets or other softwares that you might use. Uh, in addition to the sales by item, there is also the report sales by category, where you can indicate uh, where you can indicate which category is performing the best. Uh, you will be able to see all the categories that you have configured and how many items were sold by each of these categories, what was the net sale, gross uh, cost of goods, and the gross profit uh, generated. Uh, and uh, uh, then there are other reports as well. Uh, that you can see to track the performance of employees, to see the payment types uh, and also you can find all the receipts that have been issued in your account. Of course, in the back office it is possible to cancel the receipt, like in, in, in for example if uh, a, a customer um, like did not take the hair, the, did not uh, receive the service of hair wash but you already by mistake charged this ticket then what you can do is that you can cancel the receipt and when you cancel the receipt uh, this receipt will not be um, calculated in the reports and all items will be returned to stock now hair wash itself uh, does not have stock of its own but we have uh, ingre had added ingredients for this composite item so the stock of the ingredient which was deducted after the sale will be uh, uh, increased again like returned in stock <coughs> so this is how you can uh, 
uh, work with items in Loivers POS. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next videos.